Hello and welcome to the ninth video in this series, Programming a Chess Engine in JavaScript. I said at the end of the last video we were ready now to start looking at passing a position string and setting up the board. It was a little white lie because we need to do a tiny little bit more setup first, but it's something important. In the program, we'll often have the situation later on where we'll need to loop through the squares on the board. And we won't need to loop through the border squares as well. In fact, we've already had the situation generating the position key where we just basically said if the piece is off board then ignore it. It didn't matter so much in this function but later on it, it will matter a little bit more and be better to loop through 64 squares and also it'll be easier for some of the variables we define like tables of scores for pieces on certain squares where we're hand coding them in where it's better to hand code in and easier to, to, to look at when there are just 64 squares rather than 120. So what we need is, is if you imagine we have an array of 64 from indexes 0 to 63, where 0 is A1 and H8 is 63, on our 120, 21 is A1 and 98 is H8. And we're going to make two arrays that allow us to interchange these values. So for example, if we give into an array the value 98 and we want to get out the index on a 64, based uh, square uh, space based array we would want to get back the value 63 and if we say want to from a 64 based array get the index on a 120 we would at index 63 want to return the value 98 and we'll do this by creating two arrays one of them will be called square 64 to 120 so for the 64 based index 0 to 63 that will give us the equivalent square on the 120 base so for example if it was the square h3 which would be index 23 on the 64 that will give us back 48 and the 120 to 64 would do the exact opposite for an index 48 that would give us then the 23 and that's what we're going to create in this video it's not very long just very quickly we're going to initialize these two arrays so the first thing we need to do is inside defs.h, underneath the castle keys, I'm just going to put in the square 120 to 64 and the square 64 to 120 variable definitions. And then inside main, we're going to add in a function just above the init, so down the bottom of the file, a function to initialize these two arrays. And I'll do this bit by bit. The first thing we can do is fairly clear. We'll just use some loops to clear up and reset the values to something non-relevant. So I'll put 65 because it's an index which isn't on the board on the 0 to 63. And I've put 120 for the index that we return on the square 64 to 120 because these are values that never should never be returned from the array when we're indexing correctly. So it's just a reset effectively. And now we need to do something that's a little bit sort of tricky. We need to loop through the board in rank and file order. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to start at A1 and go through the files from file 1 to 8 and then go to rank 2 and go files 1 to 8 or 8 to H and then rank 3. So we're going to go in this order. So we're essentially walking 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 up to 63. And each time we walk through, we'll increment this square 64 by 1. So square 64 essentially is always the same. It represents the current 64-based index that we're on. And that's important because it enables us to set the value here. So here we've got our two loops going up the ranks, and then for each rank, looping through the files. We get our 120-base square using our file rank to square. And then we set our square 64 120 at the value of square 64 to equal square. So for example, for the first index, square 64 is 0, and our file rank to square at file A and rank 1 would return a 21. So square 64 to 120 at index 0 would be give, given the value of 21. And then the 120 to 64 does exactly the opposite. At the, val the value at the index of 21, we store the value of 0. And then here is the reason why we're doing it in this specific order here with the ranks and the files. We now increment square 64 because at the next square, which will be then square 22, we'll have incremented now, uh, oops, we'll have now incremented square 64 to a value of 1. Where have I gone? Yes. So here, 
which will be representing square 62, and so on. So we effectively walk up through the squares here, 28, 31, 32, 33, using the file and rank, and that also square 64 gets incremented each time to walk through these. So that should be fairly self-explanatory, but that just sets up these two arrays for interchanging between 64 and 120 base. And the only thing that's then remaining is to put in a couple of functions which behave like macros in the C, C program, so I've put capital letters on them again, and we say let's get a square 64 for a square 120 using our 120 to 64 array, or let's get a square 120 from a 64 based index square. And that's all there is to it. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we can finally start building our setup, a position, and printing the board functions. So thanks very much for watching. Comments, questions, Christians, welcome as always on YouTube.